Well, hi everybody, it's Leanne Griff. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I teach a free class every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central Time. So let's get started. I have a lot to share. You will not want to miss this video. I, um, and hopefully you'll watch it later if you aren't uh, watching it live, because um, there's one card plan that I'm super excited about. I used it for my team swap, and just love the idea. Um, let me just straighten this up a little bit, maybe. Okay. All right. I, <laughs> I have a kind of a thing about being straight. <laughs> As some of you who watch me regularly can tell. Uh, I'd be, I think I'd have a hard time watching something that was kitty wampus. Um, okay, let's get started with door prizes from last week. Last week, the prizes were a set of Pearl Basic Jewels for commenting on last week's video. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I hope you say hello if you're just tuning in or when you tune in. And then a bunch of cards with unique folds are is my prize for uh, comment or sharing. So the winners, drum roll are Shirley Falk and Chris Reichs. So congratulations, gals. I appreciate you commenting and sharing for the video from last week. Uh, so, so yeah, if you wanna get in on door prizes, uh, please comment and share. And I draw names the uh, day of the video, the next video. So this uh, video, the prizes are a set of adhesive backed hexagons and a set of cards and envelopes with the, some uh, gingham paper. So these were available, I don't know, a year or two ago, and they are a set of matching cards and envelopes with some coordinating designer paper. So kind of a little mini card kit that you can use to create with. So that's for sharing, this is for commenting. Yay, I'm glad you made it, uh, Joan, I appreciate that. Okay, let's get the uh, little negative thing out of the way, and that is the inventory status. So I know people are waiting for the All About Autumn, and uh, this should say October 23rd here. It's shi shining brightly October 23rd, so that's in a week. So now this is the week of all these dates here is um, kind of uh, not exact, put it that way. So. So there's a few ribbons that will be back soon, and there are quite a few gems from the holiday catalog. I didn't put in here, there's I think in color dots from the regular catalog aren't available. Very cute punch and deckled rectangle dies. I thought some people might wanna know that. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put the date. This is early November. I can't remember the deckled rectangle dies when that's expected back, I'm sorry. Um, the glow in the bat dark glow in the dark bats and ghosts are unavailable for um, ever. I guess they are no longer coming back. They couldn't get them back in time for Halloween, so they just uh, called it off. Um, they do that sometimes when it just doesn't make sense to rush an order, and then it would come after Halloween. So they make the tough decisions. Glad I'm not one of them. Okay, all right, so quickly, October specials. There is a fabulous uh, starter kit deal, 35% off your starter kit for 64 with 125 in product and 35% more. For $99, you get 168 product of your choice. Free shipping and bonus of a free virtual on-stage event November 11th. That is a $77 value. And remember that you have, um, you get 20% off all your orders from then on. You do not have to sell. You don't have to host classes. You don't have to do anything but enjoy the discount. If you want to do things, classes, you are welcome to, but you do not have to. We call demonstrators that just love the discount and being part of our group hobbyists. So they just enjoy <laughs> being part of Stampin' Up! and my Flower Bugs team. Okay, so consider if you have a wish list, a good wish list, consider this. I would love to um, join, have you join our team. We have a great time, very busy, active team, um, lots going on in our group. Uh, another thing I want to mention is there are new products 
that are available to add to your starter kit that only demonstrators can get. So this is a brand new paper that is called Meandering Meadow and it's on, it's a pre-order right now for demonstrators, but you can get this on your starter kit. So here is, it's six by six, here are the papers. One side is fairly neutral. The other side is a beautiful artistic scene. So as you can see, it is gorgeous. You've probably seen a few uh, projects online if you're on Pinterest or uh, Facebook. You might have seen some of these. They are just stunning and I can't wait to play with them. This will be one of my kits to go, I believe, in December. So that will be in, featured in the kit to go. Um, the other thing that's in that uh, group of products is called Adhesive Backed Dragonflies and Birds. And they are gold and they are flat. I mean, flat, flat. They are like a sequins or less. So they are gorgeous. This is available in pre-order for demonstrators right now or in a starter kit. You can actually get brand new things in your starter kit. So consider that when you're when you're um, thinking about joining for it with the deal. And look at this uh, bundle, Fluffiest Friends. So this is a nice set of fluffy uh, animals with uh, coordinating dyes. So that is going to be fun, fun to play with. And now these are online exclusives. Now when they say online exclusives, you might think, well, I have to only order online, where if you go to a local class, you can add these on to your local class too. They just are seen online and not in any catalog. So when you, when you see something like, oh, that's an online exclusive, it's just in a separate category online. It just means it's not in a catalog. And there are, this is one of the printouts that I've printed out. Now this includes some of the kit collections because they're online only as well. There, if you haven't looked, I mean, there, even some of our circle punches came back. Some base plates, things that you wouldn't normally see in the catalog. Silver foil, um, white glittered organdy ribbon, lots of kits, uh, some logo things like mugs. There's dyes that are only in here, embossing folders. So if, you're, if you haven't gone to the online store, click on menu, go to online exclusives. There is a ton um, out there. So I do want to mention last week the truck stamp set, Trucking Along, was not available. It is now back. So you can get the truck punch and the Trucking Along stamp set now while it's available. <laughs> Hopefully they don't run out again. It's been a hot item. Um... I'm gonna share what we made. Um, speaking of online exclusives, there is a kit. It's called Rustic Christmas Countdown. And I got it in last week and I decided to use it for a make and take. It's meant to be an advent uh, calendar because it has these little cute mini close, well not really mini, but they're short close bins. And you can hang them on a banner or like on a garland or you can make them into cards or gift tags or they're really really fun so i'm going to show you what we made at my team meeting so this for example see if i can get the pieces is one of the envelopes so you can do it like this you can layer these cute little uh wreaths and grab those pins because this is how it's meant to be but I'll show you what I did with it um, for our team meeting so then you put it one of the advent numbers on there and adhere a ribbon and then if you wanted it to be on your of course you glue this on on your tree uh, garland whatever you wouldn't you would glue this on here of course but then you could include a gift or a little treat or hair accessories or earrings or a matchbox car I think would even fit. It'd be a little bit fat, but it would fit. So what I did, instead of making all of these into um, Advent countdowns, we made cards. So I'll show you that card. So instead of just, oh, I'm missing a sequin again. Here they are. 
So it came with these um, red sequins. I'm gonna try and do this with my finger. Put that on there. Okay, looks a little bit better. So it came with the sequins. It came with two spools of twine, cherry and uh, kind of neutral crumb cake and 25 of these little gift envelopes. You can kind of see I closed mine up. That's that card. Here's another one. So remember, this was similar. I, this had a number underneath here. I can't see it, but it had a number and I just changed it up to be a card. Here is another one. And here's the last one. So aren't they beautiful? All I did was add greetings. A layer. I did do some circles, but I covered up the numbers that are printed on the gold and printed on that wood and just added a couple uh, strips. Each one has a strip of some sort and then just made the tags or the envelopes as is. So it is, um, it is beautiful. We added a little bit of Wink of Stella. Of course, we use those sequins, but they make gorgeous cards, don't you think? And then we have envelopes that matched. And I used the stamp set uh, for some of these. Oh gosh, there's a few of them. Uh, Brightest Glow, I think, for a few of these. And I think this is Very Christmas. And then this is the Christmas Classics for the envelopes. So yeah. That is what we did at my team meeting, and they, they are just gorgeous cards, I have to admit. I just love them. Now, that's in the online exclusives. That Rustic Christmas Kit, it's $19. No stamps are included. It is just a easy kit that you could do with kids for a crafty weekend, I, and they're all inclusive. Our kits are almost all inclusive. That means everything is in the kit that you need. Okay, now I want to share, I'm gonna share this, oh gosh. I did not bring my paper trimmer over, so hang on a second. I knew, I knew I'd do this. You always think you're ready, and then you're not. No, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna do my fun fold card first. So I'm gonna use the, where are they? The, I mentioned this in my in my header. I'm using the Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. And it has um, leaves. It has a snowflake one. And then it has sunflowers and a hound's tooth. So I'm going to be showing you ideas for all, well, all but the leaves. I've done that before with my pick of the patch cards. So these are found, the Abundant Beauty Masks in the online, well, in the holiday catalog right here on page 47. Let's look. Right here. So they kind of show some sunflower cards. They're super easy to make. I shared these uh, sunflower cards um, a while back when they first came out. This was one of the cards I made. Isn't that beautiful? I made it for my friend, and yes, she is feeling better. I mentioned my friend Mary a few weeks ago. Yes, she's doing very well. And here's one I received in a swap. And here's, oh, that one goes with this. And here I made a set of note cards as well, and that's fun, just simple note cards. So, so those are the sunflowers. We're gonna make something different today. Uh, what I did, I'm gonna use the Magical Meadow stamp set for this card and the snowflake what did i do with the snowflake oh yeah right there oh we'll see okay so this card is inspired by one that my team member made and gosh i'm gonna have to get that i was not prepared Hmm. Now I can't find it. I'll show it next week. I'll show all their swaps next week. I have so much to share. This week I, I left all the swaps out. Thank you, uh, Elizabeth. I appreciate that. So this doesn't look like a fun fold. It's a mini slim line. When you open it up, it does this. Isn't that fun? So close it and open it. And I filled 
all the panels. I oh, first I was gonna do just this one, and then I decided I'm gonna fill the other one too because they're so fun to do with the the snowflake um, and he, uh, abundant beauty mask. So I will be sharing the free project sheet next week on my blog. But today I will share. I will tell you the measurements. Let's see. Here's how you're gonna fold it. Now, when you do this, you want to really, really work these, these creases, these folds, because it does tend to, it's very thick in the middle. So you wanna do extra heavy duty uh, bone folding. Okay, this is a layer. So this is finished, I believe it's three inches by five and a half. So I did go ahead and texture because I wanted to do that ahead of time. So I used the snowflake mask, which I'll show you in a minute, and um, I'll do that. And then we will be adhering it to this layer. So let's just do that, and then we'll add my ribbon and get it to onto the card. So it's a really narrow uh, layer. Not much room if you want a full piece here. So I do have the, let's see, this is white and and silver sheer ribbon in the holiday catalog. And it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So this is what I'm gonna do is cut that. And I think I'm gonna use this as my bottom. I kinda like the smaller snowflakes. So we will, this is how I like to add my ribbon when I do it, just a, a strip across and then I can just make sure that's even and do that. Okay, now we'll add more adhesive and add it to our card front. Very skinny little layer on here, isn't there? Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. We're going to do the Are blending with Pretty Peacock. Now I kept it very light. I could have used um, Lost the Goon, but I decided to keep it um, very light in color. And you don't have to do it straight. You can do it. Um, I didn't clean this last night. You know, you might think, well, you've got to clean it or it'll stain. No, our inks are water based. So there is no hurry. They will just rinse off. And I found when I'm matte, when I'm sponging on here, to go in both directions because I tend to get a highlight when you go the same way all the time. So if you're going in circles or across, make sure you go up and down as well. So I'm kind of reversing. I, I just notice a difference, especially with the snow, snow uh, what are they called? Sunflowers. Okay, there's one. Now I'm going to wait for this one. I'm gonna ink my greeting first because I don't wanna have dark snowflakes around my greeting. So my third panel, I will be inking in Pretty Peacock, stamping here, I'm holding it straight. I have two tries, yep, that looks good. Okay, now I can and move this around, that looks good. I'm just gonna do the top part first. And then we'll move it to the bottom, maybe get some smaller snowflakes down here. And try not to get outside. I could use a mask or a post-it note or something, but I'm just gonna do my best not to get above the line. That looks pretty good. Now I could go back in, <laughs> living dangerously, and just add a few little snowflakes over here. Okay, all right, that's it for the snowflake uh, folder. Now you can use embossing paste on these. You can color your embossing paste. You could actually, what I would call, smash your Versamark ink on here and then heat emboss it with embossing powder. There are lots of ideas to use with our masks. Um, oh, actually, I want to keep that because one of these is all snowflakes. So 
So let me just move this back in. So there's there is a are, are a ton of um, techniques you can do with our masks. Okay, that's good on that one. I will be using it again. So I'm just gonna leave it out. We're gonna stamp these three panels. And um, so I should tell you, remember I did say that our my this would be a free project sheet next week on my blog. So you should be following me on flowerbug.net. That is my blog where I post um, Monday through Friday. And um, actually, I wanted to use Lost Lagoon. I could just stamp off, but I'm gonna use Lost Lagoon for this little, I guess, trees image. It's a little bit lighter shade of peacock. They coordinate very well with each other. And then for my greeting, I think I'm done with that. For my greeting, we'll use this one. May the season of sparkle bring joy and delight. This could be just a winter card. It doesn't have to be Christmas. And then one last thing, and I'm a little nervous because these small greetings sometimes can get crooked. And um, let's see, we'll practice here. Okay. See how I did. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Oh, um, nope, not done yet. Not done yet. On this one, I decided I wanted to sponge the bottom just to give it a little bit of color. It looks like it's kind of hanging. So, and then we will go back to our snowflakes and add a few small ones. Hmm. Let's start with those. And you don't always have to re-ink because um, it's already has some on it. Oh, it needs a little tiny one. Okay, that's that. And then you can still do a very nice light snowflakes on here. <laughs> it's kind of scary because I, I can actually get ahead of like get onto those big ones. Like I said, you can easily mask them with uh, post-it notes or whatever. So this is the embossing folder that I used here. So it's gorgeous. Now, when, when I ran it through, because it's heavier snow on the bottom, lighter at the top, I actually laid it on the top like this. So I just got mostly dots with just a few little snowflakes embossed on there. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, I love the snowflake sky embossing folder. It's beautiful. All right, I think I've got all my stamping done. All right, let's assemble this card, how we do that. So this is gonna go here. We're gonna push that aside. It's gonna go on here. I am going to show you ideas for the houndstooth uh, decorative mask in a little bit. And I, I paired it really beautifully, I think, with the sunflower decorative masks. Okay, so we are going to glue these together. Add a little. Now, I did not pop these up because it's already um, pretty thick in the middle. So I didn't, I didn't want to pop anything up uh, and add more to that thickness where the card doesn't want to close. These are one and a half, I think by two and three quarters, I think. So what I did was um, I just wanted to, I wanted almost to run this, this piece here along the same uh, area of my white piece. It, should, it was just a parameter. Not the white, but the actual Lost Lagoon. And that gives me a guide kind of going all the way across. And then this one is going to be the same thing. You can do it your way as far as trying to get it even. And then I do the center last. 
can see how I'm kind of matching it up there. And I don't want it in the, did that move? Maybe a little bit. I don't want it in the, in the groove. So when it closes, I, I want it to be able to close. All right, then this one will go on that side. I think I'll run it this way. So have you ever made a card like this? Does anybody know the name of this? I honestly don't know the name. Candace, when she made her card, um, yeah, the reason this is, this works really well is this is a standard five and a half by eight and a half. So you don't waste any cardstock and it, um, you can get two cards from one piece of, of cardstock. So it doesn't look like it, but that is an eight and a half by 11 right there. So yeah, I really like the way this, um, this worked out. So then all I did, I'm not going to finish it. I have so much to share. I need to glue that down. There, this is a snowflake from the, I believe it's the Sending Cheer dies. And I just added a little flag of ribbon right here and called it good. So that, that's my card. My, I call it a triple pop-up fun fold. <laughs> I don't know, anybody have a better name? Thank you, I appreciate that, Darlene. Yeah, I really do love the card. It's, it's so pretty, I, I, of course. Uh, what I call a monochromatic card, which is basically just blues with a little, you know, with coarse white. That's some of my favorite cards that I make. I really do love monochromatic cards. And the greetings and this image here, I used all those right here from Magical Meadow. And that is available. It has a great bunch of dies. So that's from the holiday catalog. Okay, all right. So my next card, this one I'm super excited to share with you. And this idea is from Lissa Zwolinek. She shared this um, with demonstrators on um, a, a page that she has. So this was my swap that I made for uh, our, our team swap on Saturday. It was, the theme was Christmas cards. So this is from the So Very Merry uh, online exclusive. I use this image right here and the stylish shapes dies and the new deckled circle dies. I actually am using one of these out of the box right now, but isn't that beautiful? So I actually have a lot of it done already, but I wanted to share how I got, how I achieved this because it is so super neat and the cool thing is this is half of a six by six. So, um, so yeah, I have my pieces here, but how do you get those? How do you get those and make the most of a plain, a, a six by six piece of paper? So I'm gonna share that. I'm gonna cut it from uh, another piece of six by six that I just grabbed. Okay, so this will be on my blog next week, but you start with six by six. Thank you, Karen. And you cut it at four inches. So cut this at four inches. So now you have a four inch piece. I mean, a two inch by six inch. And this is four inch by six inch. Now you're gonna take this four inch by six inch and cut it into three two inch pieces. There's one. There's two. So for two cards, you actually need um, four two by four pieces. So you're gonna take the, the two by six and turn it into a fourth two by four. So now I have four two by fours. This piece is for the inside and you're going to cut that into four uh, triangles. And I'm gonna to attempt to put this back together and cut it on the point. Okay, so what these are good for is this. So you can go ahead and decorate the inside. If you wanted to do all four, you could, but then you wouldn't be able to do it on both cards. But it just adds a little something and brings in the designer paper you used to the inside. Okay, so now you simply, and I'm going to just gather these together. And you want to do this the same way. So I'm going to gather these together and put them both kind of on an angle. And then you're going to go from tip to tip on the angle. And 
you get, this is enough for one card. Let's see how that is. And then this is enough for the other card. Oops. So it's such a neat way to use your six by six or 12 by 12, cutting it up into six by six. But now I'll show you how to make, how I made my card. Okay, because I have my pieces. We're gonna just use this on another project. Hopefully I will. <laughs> Sometimes I don't get to it. All right, so there is my front. I already have it embossed. So what you do is, and I have my circle. I did already do my circle. Um, basically what I did was um, heat embossing gold. Then, let me just move that, I grabbed, you the colors that I use because I think they're so pretty. This is light uh, wild wheat. So, and when I color, I like to have white underneath it because then I can see what's happening. So I colored on the top. You don't have to, and this will just only make it darker when you go over it a second time, which is fine. Um, doesn't really matter. And then I did every other outline. I guess I'll show you this one in Lost Lagoon and Wild Wheat, the light wild wheat. So once you have it embossed with gold powder, it gives you these nice lines that you can use for your barriers. So this is Lost Lagoon light, and you simply just color. And the vellum, this is our vellum cardstock. So the light color is dark lemon lolly, and then I use pool party for parts of the dress on the angel. So that's how I colored these, this vellum circle. This is again, stylish shapes dies. All right, so what you need to do when you do this is you have to cover the corner, right? So you can position these and you can aim it for the middle. You can aim it down lower if you want your circle lower or whatever you're going to add your element. And I think what you just wanna do is have the same uh, area divided between the two. Now I did try doing it like this. So it was pointier. Does that make sense? You see how that is? but I didn't like the look. It just didn't look as good as when it was even. You can try try that if you'd like to. But so then, all I did, um, I'm going to grab, just to protect my work surface, I'm gonna put my silicone mat and start adding adhesive to this. And I just have to make sure that point is covered. And the reason I have my silicone mat here is in case I get um, a little overzealous with my adhesive. Now you can, depending on the size of your circle, you can bring these out more so they, um, so your points are narrower. Does that make sense? So because there's actually a little bit of waste here, as you can see as I'm going along here, I'm gonna be cutting off quite a bit so you could go deeper into this depending on what element you add here. It does not have to be a circle. Okay, now you can see I have a little glue. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit and just show you the inside. Now I didn't bring any stamping here um, to finish it, but this is what you do with those little triangles is just add them to your inside. It uses every bit of your six by six. What do you think of this design? I think it's just genius. She was just playing around and came up with it. That's Alyssa Zwolinek who did this. And we're gonna add one of these stars when we're done. I'm going to Kind of press this in the middle of my card front. Just don't like to get my scissors that full of. Uh, and I could use a tape, a uh, paper trimmer as well. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you prefer. I like using the back side as my guide. And the nice thing about using um, 
Oh, I forgot to talk about this designer paper. This is called Snowflake Magic. No, yeah, Snowflake Magic, I'm pretty sure. From the uh, holiday catalog. I keep fumbling on that word today. But it is available, it is not out of stock, which is awesome, because it was for a while. And it comes in three different colors of, um, has white with snowflakes, or no, white with a, kind of a mottled silver look. Then it has a coastal cabana with white snowflakes, and this is Lost Lagoon with the pretty um, iridescent and foil. Okay. Well, anyway, what I'm saying is when in this in this case, my Lost Lagoon just a specialty paper kind of matches my card base, and I like that because it doesn't have a stopping point for the starburst. It, and it and you don't see any discrepancy, at least not too much. So then I already have this popped up between layers, so I don't need to pop anything else up. There, and here is our inside. This is my traditional three and a half by four and three quarter layer where I get five at a time. So I'm just really excited about this because to, to use a six by six in every scrap of it. And it's such a different layout compared to, to the usual. So I'm just gonna add one little start. Now these are not available right now. They are out of stock, they'll be back. Um, let's see, these are expected back uh, November 13th, so almost another three, three, three or more weeks, but they are so pretty. So what do you think of that card? Now again, this uses the Silvery Mary uh, online exclusive stamp set. It's just a stamp set. There are no dies to go with it. So I think it's gorgeous, and I love, love, love the colors, the soft pastel colors. So thanks for sharing, Diane. I appreciate that. All right, so the last project today, I guess I told you I have a lot to share today, um, is mostly done. I am not gonna make it all in front of you, but it features the note craft note cards and envelopes. So this is in the um, annual catalog, and I will show you where. I think I have it out. So it's right here, craft note cards and envelopes, $10 for 20 cards, 20 envelopes, and a box. So I wanted to share this cool box that I, and, and the cards that I made. Now this time I chose to use the houndstooth um, mask. And this is, all these are in the Abundant Beauty decorative mask. So here is my box. So this is the size of box. You can see it's pretty good size. And I lightly um, blended copper clay ink. So these are the ink colors I used. Unusual combination. These work well together. I've always used those together, but uh, copper clay and pretty peacock, but I wanted kind of a bright green. I didn't want a dull green. So the box opens, I just added a layer and add some of these uh, sunflowers that I made using these two inks. And then inside are these set of cards. And I, I, when I had this box open, you, I don't know if I can even get it open anymore now that it's closed, it's closed really well, but it was flat. Well, I think I can, yeah, I can. It was flat and so I did every speck of it except for the very bottom and I just basically laid those masks out and stopped it I guess I'm the wrong way and stopped it I'm still the wrong way must have had it on this side at the edges and just matched it and matched it and moved it over so it's quite an easy box to make what a neat gift so then it just kind of sits right in there and it's really sturdy so that's the box. So the cards, and yes, these are all fussy cut. Now, my friend Pat, she's my assistant, and she loves, loves, loves to fussy cut. So I stamped all these flowers, these uh, sunflowers and leaves, and gave them to her to fussy cut. So she, I did not do, I did a few. 
but I did not do them all. So if this is um, not your average card. If you do not like to fussy cut, you probably won't make this. And you could easily just stamp them. You don't have to. Not on here because it's not white, but you could stamp them on, the, on white instead of craft. But I just added some greetings, did a very light um, blending on with this. And basically I had hardly any ink on my cinnamon cider and I just did some areas without re-inking much. And that's how I got kind of the diffuse um, inside. And then I, I simply added some sunflowers to the inside. So I think this one wasn't done. I was gonna do one and show you, but it's getting kind of late in the video, so I don't think I will. But they're just so, so simple. So here's, um, I'll just kind of show you in a little way. So this is how I start and I actually mask. This is one of those uh, note, um, mat or post-it notes that has stick them everywhere. So then I was able to just um, add these, add this to my card and without fear of um, blending the third sunflower onto there. And I blended simply in, in uh, Pretty Peacock. Take this one away, grab the center. Now in this time, there is a third center, but in this case, I, I wanted a white, uh, a little white in the center. So I just sponged cinnamon cider on that. And then I added some leaves. And I kind of moved it around to add, like in this case, I added a leaf here and a leaf here. And it's just so simple to create these gorgeous um, sunflowers with a blending brush and the masks. So anyway, that is my third project that I really am just kind of showing off <laughs> instead of demonstrating. But um, I think it's just gorgeous. I love the colors, I love the colors a lot. So that is Abundant Beauty with the craft note cards and so pretty Peacock, Granny Apple, and Copper Clay are the colors that I used. Oh, and the greetings are from my favorite set, So Sincere. Did I say Cinnamon Cider? Copper Clay. Thank you, Karen. Oh my goodness. How long ago did we have Cinnamon Cider? Isn't that something? How that kind of just, come? now I will have trouble for a while and mistake <laughs> Cinnamon Cider for Copper Clay. Copper Clay is our current color. I don't know when we had Cinnamon Cider last, but it was a long time ago. But anyway, all the greetings on my cards are from the um, So Sincere. I just love them. If you haven't gotten this set yet, you really need to get this set. It is a must have. Everybody's loving it. Beautiful fonts for all occasions. Um, yeah. So um, before I sign off, there are a few days left to get in on my kits to go. So my kits to go are this one is all fun folds. It is the uh, delightful floral, and they're all fancy folds of some way or another. You can use any greetings. All you need to do is have inks and greetings because everything is cut out for you. I will say I do not texture um, things ahead of time. I hope that if you don't have a text uh, ability to texture, you can just stamp or leave it plain. So this is $28, you get $20 in products. That includes half a pack of designer paper, the ribbon and the, the sequins, the sequins trio, plus the 10 cards, all for $28. So 20 in product, $28 for the, the work. So I pay the tax and shipping on that. So um, yeah, so it's a great deal. And the, the tutorial is free. So that is one of my kits to go. It's limited. I already ordered the product and I will have them on my store, flowerbookshop.com. Now I also have sets of Christmas cards. So this is one set. This is the um, More Wishes set. Now there's another red card that goes with this and you get six of this design and six of this design with matching envelopes for 27. All you need are greetings and stamps. That's one choice. This is another choice. These are both fun folds. All you need, like I said, are greetings. This is a gift card holder. There's a little pocket in there. You don't have to have a gift card, but it's still a fun card to, to make. And this one is another fun fold. So this uses the night, let's see, 
starry night gosh i'm drawing a blank um but like i said you can change the greetings it is helpful to have the matching greetings of course but again six of each card design 27 dollars with envelopes and this is the last one so the the designer paper may uh change on the cards but you'll get an assortment and this is the last set six of each card with envelopes for 27 dollars. so this one i'm running low on this one I have a few left and this one I have a few left. So those are all on my shop and you can combine. All these kits combine shipping and save some money if you want two or three or more. All right, I think that's it for today. I hope I shared everything. It was a lot. Okay, thank you all for watching and I will see you next Tuesday. Um, and besides that, just so you know, the tutorials are available for all my cards. I almost always do the tutorial if you don't want to get the pre-cut kit. But even these shakers, everything is included. So I even give you the shakers, the envelopes on those. So if the explanation, the description is all on my shop. All right. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next Tuesday. Okay. Bye-bye.